That was quite a night. I feel exhilarated, yet exhausted. Triumphant at what we have discovered, but mournful for Miss Cold Smythe. It is being able to control those emotions and still see the bigger picture that separates the best detectives from those that merely like the thought of such responsibility. So do you think it must have been one of the guests at the gala? An accomplice disguised as a guest turned murderer. A master criminal they may appear to be, but they have never crossed paths with Belgium's greatest detective. I think I just felt a chill. Now we must speak with the guests of the gala again, as well as find Monsieur Christiansen, who has continued to evade my questions. I have no doubt one or more of them will hold the answers we require regarding the death of Mademoiselle Cotsmythe. Mademoiselle, do you have a moment to spare? Of course, Detective. I'm hoping you have some good news for me. Goodness. You've found the painting, haven't you? A painting was recovered. A forgery, but it was damaged by the fire. What on earth are you talking about? Forgery? Fire? It ran rampant through Mademoiselle Cotsmythe's apartment. She's... dead. She would never be so. But with all of those flammable paints and... No! Mademoiselle Warbeck appears quite distraught at the news. Perhaps I should have considered the nature in which it was delivered. respected her as an artist and a friend. I do not wish to push Mademoiselle Warbeck too far while in such a state. But as a friend, I must know if she was aware of Mademoiselle Cotsmythe's plan. Perhaps as a friend, she let slip of her plans. Her plan for what? Stealing the painting? Making a forgery? Do you really think I'd let her do that? She must have had help from someone she trusted. If she did, it wasn't me she confided in. I've been here trying to calm down the trustees. You did not leave the museum? I was here until the early hours. After the meeting, I wrote a letter to my father. I wanted his advice on what to do. It's just all so... Excuse me, gentlemen. I must go and make a phone call to... an artist. I shan't be long. Merci, mademoiselle. That is all for now. Oh. Hmm. Aha.
Monsieur Ellsworth. Ah, a detective that actually seems to be doing something to find my painting. Uh, what can I do for you? Quite well, thank you. The infirmary discharged you already? With a clean bill of health. I didn't want to wait around using up valuable resources. An honorable gesture. I was straight off to the House of Commons. I take it you haven't read today's newspaper? I'm afraid I have had more pressing matters. It certainly makes for an interesting read. I was not aware reporters were permitted inside the house. They aren't. I left and went to the London Illustrated News office. I gave my statement there. I can't for the life of me remember the chap's name. Uh, rather pleasant, though. Anyway, you're a busy man. I'd hate to take up too much of your time. It does not take a great detective to pick up on Monsieur Ellsworth's ever so subtle hint. Is this about the insurance claim? It was merely a necessary precaution. I'm sure with you on the case, it won't be long before it's returned. I do not doubt my abilities to return the painting, but I question why he felt it necessary to talk of sensitive details regarding the investigation to a national news outlet. It would not surprise me to learn of him using his loss for cynical gain. I assume you saw the article in the paper? Oui, monsieur. A fantastic opportunity for you to express your political opinions. Oh, the people must know what I stand for. I'm here for them. I will not take up any more of your time. Gentlemen, what can I do for you? I was hoping to speak with Mademoiselle Farquhar. I'm afraid she already has her hands full with the story. Unless you've come with a bigger one than what she's working on. Perhaps another time, gentlemen. We really are very busy. Bonjour, madame. Do you have a moment to... Has something happened? You bet something's happened! That slime bag! How dare he say my performance was mediocre! I'm sure he didn't mean... That's it! I give up! I'm done with this acting! With this city! Take a deep breath. Pick one man's opinion, and a wrong one at that. He's not powerful enough to topple a career like yours. You're right. Let him think what he wants. I'm sorry. I'm an actress. It's my prerogative to be a little overdramatic. Very impressive, Monsieur Hastings. A position in negotiations would suit you well. Is there something I can help you both with? You do know what I do, don't you? I was on stage, performing in front of a packed house. I did not mean to. Zack, he was there. You two seemed pretty friendly. He'll tell you. So will that Russian lady from the gala she was with him. Monsieur Demir and Mademoiselle Babania, together. Très bien. Oh, he's already seen it. I told him he didn't have to come. A supportive husband indeed. Yeah. Real supportive. Your guess is as good as mine. 
It is most important that I speak with him. Then you've got a missing painting and a missing husband on your hands because I haven't seen him. Look, I don't think I can take much more today. Mademoiselle Cot Smythe was found murdered last night. Okay. I thought perhaps the news would be a little more jarring. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't really want to hear about anyone dying, but me and her... Well, there's no love lost. Madame Allen's nonchalant response has certainly caught me off guard. You have been most helpful. What do you need? That sounds rather ominous. I would not ask you to do something I would not consider doing myself. Only on this occasion it is I that must execute the other part of the plan. What do you need me to do? Madame Helen, you must hold her attention while I take the opportunity to look around. I certainly can. I'll appeal to her love of attention. Mrs. Allen, that photograph there, is that really you on a live film set? Gentlemen, what can I do for you? I was hoping to speak with Mademoiselle Farquhar. I'm afraid she already has her hands full with the story. Unless you've come with a bigger one than what she's working on. Let's not be so hasty. That could be just what we need. Gentlemen, what can I do for you? This is your office. It's very impressive. Mademoiselle, would you have time to answer some questions? I don't really have time right now. Perhaps we can schedule... I assure you I shall remain focused and my questions relevant. Fine. Make it fast. Is she all right? I'm afraid not. Heavens, how awful. Did she have any close relatives? I do not believe so. And her parents have both passed also. She was the last remaining caught Smythe. A question I did not expect. Although at least she is showing some form of compassion for Mademoiselle Gott Smythe's family, or lack thereof. I only met her recently in a professional capacity. What are they going to do with her exhibit? I cannot say, but they may not be as forthcoming with her work now. I'm sorry, Detective. I don't understand. Mademoiselle Cotsmide was behind the painting's disappearance, and a forgery was discovered in her apartment. 
So she stole the original and made a forgery? What heaven's for? That we are still yet to learn. Am I a suspect? We are just trying to gather all the information. Isn't that right, Poirot? We? Oui, that is correct. I'm sorry. It's just a lot to take in at once. I was working late into the evening yesterday. I had to get my article on the gala written. And the photographs, they had to be developed. There was probably someone still around in the office if you wanted to check. I'm sure you want to have every I dotted and T crossed. Really? I must have been so busy not to notice him. At least you can be sure of where I was. Was there anyone else present in the office? If Mr. Aylesworth was there, Nathaniel, my editor, must have been. It strikes me as rather strange that Mademoiselle does not recall seeing such an important figure in the office. But not everyone can be as observant as I. I shall speak with the editor, as he will be able to confirm the presence of both in the office. Merci, Mademoiselle. That is all for now. Bartholomew! Yeah, push, 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 push. Where are you? Bartholomew! Enough now! Out you come! I'm sorry, I just don't have time to talk now. I have to find Bartholomew. Have you placed a missing persons report? Really, detective? Bartholomew is the church cat. I think a missing person's report might be a little overboard. I am sure with our assistance we shall find him in half the time. And then perhaps you will have time to answer my questions. Fine. All that matters now is that we find him. His name is Bartholomew, and I'd appreciate it if you spoke of him as such. Pardon, when did you last see Bartholomew? Better. Well, you see, the poor creature took an interest in my easel. He leapt up, knocking over some of my supplies, and gave himself a fright. He bolted out of sight, and I've not seen him since. Merci, Your Grace. Ah. Huh. Oh. Hmm. 
Magnifique. What do you need? What can I do for... That would never have even occurred to me. I've got a lot to learn. Oh, I didn't think I could make it any clearer. Our priority is to find Bartholomew. Yes, Thomas, one of my parishioners, would usually have sorted that for me. But he decided this weekend, of all weekends, was the best time to holiday to Margate. Where did you say the glass was broken? The easel. I was painting, and Bartholomew was obviously in a boisterous mood and knocked over the water jar. Merci, Your Grace. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. The answer was staring me in the face. Things are beginning to become clearer.
What do you need? What can I do for you? I question whether the bishop's version of events is accurate. Perhaps he threw the glass jar at Bartholomew because he was on the altar. I know that's how it looks, but I can't imagine someone being so cruel. What tells us where the cat ran to next? Borrow, you are a genius. How can we know where the cat ran to next? Borrow, you are a genius. Mm hmm. Aha. Voilà. Your Grace, now that Bartholomew has been found, would you... As my way of thanks, I'll answer your questions. Very well, get on with it. I hope that comes from an inquisitive nature rather than a place of accusation. I was at a museum trustees meeting, trying to finally make a decision on that girl. You mean Mademoiselle Warbeck? Who else? She is running that museum into the ground. And following the meeting? I returned to the church to prepare for Compline prayers, although I don't think I was alone. You don't think? I got the feeling that someone had followed me from the museum. I never saw them, but I know what I felt. None. I knew her merely by reputation, oh, and a questionable one at that. Do you want to tell me what all these questions are about? 
Mademoiselle Cort Smythe was murdered last night. If you plan on being the bearer of such news, perhaps you should think of going about it with a little more civility. How did the young girl die? There was a fire in her apartment, although it wasn't the flames that took her life, but poison. Arson and poisoning. Oh, what is this world coming to? Bishop Mountjoy claims he barely knew Mademoiselle Court Smythe, but still showed a level of empathy I was not expecting. Perhaps I judged his blunt facade too quickly. Oh, found it? Really? Oh, heavens be! The Lord has shown his will once more. I can only assume his delayed excitement came from being off guard. Unfortunately, I must turn his elation into disappointment. If your grace would allow me to finish, a forgery of it was found in Mademoiselle Cortsmith's apartment, but it was destroyed in the fire. She was the thief all along. Well, that just... A, a, a forgery? You mean... She made a copy of it? It appears that way. I will rightly light a candle for her soul this evening. But that will not give her absolution from what she faces, kneeling before our Lord. Hmm. It looks like she was telling the truth, after all. About composing the letter, we. Oui. But we cannot confirm where it was penned. What's all this other stuff? I don't think it's from the letter to her father. It seems we have stumbled across the names and addresses for the guests of the gala. Although they are not all legible. We have gathered all the information we can from the guests at the gala. All except... Betty's husband, Mr. Christensen. Oui. We are now in possession of his address, where he is no doubt hiding like a frightened young boy avoiding his headmaster's ruler. Ah. Voila. And just like that, the address of Monsieur Christiansen's apartment. <laughs> 